All right, we're gonna continue Yakuza 5 tonight. I was gonna do Yoshi's Island, but I don't really wanna get my butt kicked by that um that stage I was doing last night. <laughs> I'm a little tired from Christmas stuff, but I can play this. It's fine. Although I'm up to ah uh, right. Okay, well, there might be a dance competition that might take a few attempts. Um... What am I up to, exactly? Hold on. Yeah, okay. So, it's the dance competition. Alright, I guess we're opening with that. But, we'll do some of Akiyama's chapter, as well. <laughs> I had dreams about that stage last night. Ugh. This should be fine because the Haruka is like my highest level character. So hopefully the training's paid off. Um, there's no sub stories, so okay. I guess let's just go to the dance competition. Yeah, you know, this is technically a Christmas game. It's it's kind of like Die Hard. It takes place in Christmas. So, it's like... It's a Christmas game. Which is just very coincidental that worked out that way. Oh. Yeah, but where's the photography guy? I think this is the photography guy. Hold on. What? But I'm pretty sure I got three photos with her. Okay, well. Can't say I didn't try. I think I've gone the longest way. Oh, there's a sub story up the front. Interesting. Is it in the building or is it? Hang on, let's have a look. Well, it's probably inside, so let's just go inside. Oh, okay, hang on, what is this? She is main quest. Who's sub story? Hold on. Well, it's not this. What? I'm confused. Okay, weird. I don't know why it's showing an indicator. Alright, let's just go with this. Kita ne haruka. Princess League made a mari jika naike do. Do nai suru? Sugu ni Princess League iku? I guess. Princess League ni ikimas. I guess. Hmm, kiai hai ten na. Honnara, schedule hyo mite. Princess League no yote kakuni stoko. Oh, there we go. 
Wow. Well, um, is there anything else that got added? No. Okay. Princess League Round 2. よまらさん、どうかしましたほんまのこと言うとな。私テレビ局来るん久々やねん。え、そうなんですかうん。何や緊張してきたわ。大丈夫ですよ、山原さん。ごめんな。私の方がしっかりせんなあかんのに。いい
こちらのアイドル光る個性が混じり合い生み出す力は無限大優雅な立ち居振る舞いは大きな力を持っていま Definitely. どちらのアイドルがより多くの観客を魅了しリバーさせられるんでしょうかそれでは行っちゃいましょうレディーゴー What's first? Yeah, okay. Oops, wrong button. It's okay. Recover. Okay, this is the calm part. I'm already kicking that butt. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, I'm fine. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Whoops. It's all right. Just, just. <laughs> Whoops. Yep. That snowballed into failure. Oh, this is the long version of the song. In practice, the song is usually over by now, but okay. Jeez. Ah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I still win. Wait, it's not over yet? Okay, it's over. <laughs> That's fine. The song is, is tricky. This is one of these things where, this is why I like these games, is they have stories where these stories could be just whole games in their own right. Like, they could totally do just a whole game out of this. ファ
イナルラウンドに向けて期待できる結果になったんじゃないはいとっても嬉しいですファイナルラウンドですが自信はどう Oh, hold on, there's still one more round to go. Good player. <laughs> I thought I'm better at it. That's so much the Hatsune Miku games. I honestly, well. Hatsune Miku is in this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if they drew inspiration from it. You can get items that have her in it. There was like an ice sculpture that was her earlier on. I like that they make it like a real TV show. よかったでハルカ。次はいよいよ最終決戦や。T セットも必死で挑んでくるはずや。最後の最後まで全力で頑張ってこ。はい。うん。ほんなら総天堀戻ろう。秋山さんと待ち合わせしてんやろ。ええ。せやけどほどほどにしや。I'm curious what Akiyama is going to do. Because every character has some, something in their story where they do.、Um, so Kiryu was a taxi driver, Saijima was a hunter, Karaka s a pop star. I'm curious what Saijima is going to do. Are all the Yakuza games like this with changing game style throughout?、Uh, the later ones are. The earlier ones, they either swap characters or the side stories make you do ridiculous things. Like, they usually have mini games that, yeah, are melded in with the side stories.、Uh, there's, there's a couple that I would love to talk about, but I feel like it's best you experience it yourself. Ugh, I just. Ah,、oh, they're amazing. Let me put it this way you know, my, my toilet in Animal Crossing with the TVs? Like, up on the urinals? That's a reference to one of the mini games in Yakuza. So, that's the sort of thing you gotta look forward to. Yeah, I mean. There's a lot of fighting. I'd say the majority of it is fighting, but they do break it up.、Um, sometimes. There's just side quests where it's just talking and you picking options. There's so many side quests where there's like this dude that's just hopeless at trying to get a girlfriend and you have to guide him in the right direction. And every time, of course, it just doesn't end right. Um, yeah. Wait, why can't I grab this? You'd fail at that. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, even if you fail, you still get experience points. Most of the side quest is just like, failure is okay, because it's more about the journey. The, the end result doesn't matter. It's like, at the end of the day, you still get something amusing, even with failure. It was like a kid that asked me for help with homework, and I gave. Like, so many incorrect answers. Dude still passed, but, you know, it was one in the morning and I sure as hell wasn't gonna do math and grammar. There's Akiyama. Akiyama san, I'm sorry. 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 So, he's a dude that his life went down the drain. Like, he used to be a, a businessman and just、um, basically bankruptcy, became homeless. And then the, res the end result of one of the games basically caused him to come into money. And so, his thing is, is he runs a company that will give a loan to anyone. 
for any amount of money provided they pass a test. So he won't charge interest, he won't do anything, but he does a test of character. So he makes sure that the person is a good person and um, just that they're, you know, they're willing to fight for their dreams, more or less. But the guy's like super eccentric. He's, he's a slob, he's lazy. He's sarcastic. And his side quests were just so much fun. I'm curious to see what he does in this game. And he's fighting style is, is like kicks, so... I got the feeling his character's fighting style is like inspired by One Piece, like the character from there. Because it's, it's pretty similar. I mean, Kiryu has some moves that are like pretty similar to Jojo moves as well. It's like they reference everything in this game. Yeah. So they murdered the, the lady that was running this company. So the tie-in is she met Haruka and she went to Akiyama and took out a loan so then she could make this concert because she was convinced that Haruka was going to win the contest like just from meeting her for the first time but they murdered her and they're not sure why so Akiyama's here to discover that コンサートの上なんか無理や。そんなノウハウ持ってへんもん。私もいますよ。クリスティーナさん。海外でもっと大きな規模のイベントを仕切ったこともあります。I wonder if this is actually the Well, I guess I say Christina so. Yeah.最後までやり遂げるのがプロというものです。私の仕事はハルカを一流にすることでしたから。せやけど ほんまにドームでライブなんてできると思ってんのあんたら。パク社長のことです。会場を押さえただけなんてことはないはず。運営スタッフはすでに確保されてることでしょう。まずはそのあたりを確認していくんです。できるかできないかはその後判断してもお
Pacus was playing as Akiyama now. Final round of the dance competition is going to have to wait. ホーガンジュコチョウバークレストかはるかちゃんの入れる店じゃないなもう夜も遅いし俺一人で行くよいいねえわかりました私はここで待ってます何かあれば言ってくださいはいあ、keep right. oh, thinking like why don't they let me go down this way what does the sign say? Staff only to go out, really? But then you take an elev- th th That makes no sense. Like, that's just gonna go to the street level. What do you mean, staff only? Maybe I'm misunderstanding how this building works. Oh, look, there's double doors here, but we have to use the elevator. Oh, hi, Akiyama-san. Got a minute? I was hoping to talk to you about Haruka. Me? What about? Don't tell Haruka, but I think she might have a stalker. Something happened? We were walking back to her apartment late the other night, and I caught some weirdo following us. I don't think Haruka noticed, but after saying goodnight, I came back out, and that same guy was still there, watching from a distance. What happened then? I was scared, but I went towards him to get a better look at his face, and he took off running. I figured he must have been spying on Haruka. Interesting. Has anything like this ever happened before? There's plenty of wacky people with all sorts of crazy ideas, if Haruka's fan letters are anything to go by. There's no end to them. But this time, the stalker knows where Haruka lives. That's what worries me. The agency has neither the staff nor the money to keep watch over Haruka 24-7. Still, it's not exactly something we can just ignore. So, I was hoping to ask a favor of you. Would you mind taking a look around Haruka's apartment building every so often? Just when you have time. If you spot anyone sneaking around, I'd like you to give him a stern talking to. Eh, mm. uh, sure. But I think you might be a little too optimistic if you think that'll be enough to scare them off. Ah, uh, but it's worth a try. I might just be the man for the job. Oh, you... I'm counting on you, Akiyama san this is either go- this is the thing. It's either going to be something that adds to the story and important to the plot, or it's going to be like a dude in a chicken suit or something. Like, it's just- there's no in-between here. Well, there's a bunch of sub-stories. Um, karaoke, prime. Let me just see what the nightlife is like in Sodenbori. Let's see a palm. Well, okay, so there is a sub story there. Mahjong. I could go embarrass myself at karaoke. Club Sega. Golf. Sunrise, I think, is just a hostess club. Well, the karaoke bar is just here, so why not? Club Sega, uh, I, I think it's just the rhythm game that's in there, the drum thing. They always have, like, one fully-fledged Sega game in there. Or something completely unrelated. Well, that's not true. The weird one I'm thinking one of... These are all optional, yeah. You can choose to do whatever you want here. The way to play these games is you have your main story, you sit down and you watch the main story for like 20 minutes or so, and then you go do all the side stories, because the side stories are completely unrelated, they go off on a tangent, and some of them are just unhinged. And that's where the fun of this game is. Oh, 
Oh, they've actually got the songs that Haruka performs. Okay. Well, this is this is like the song that's in every game. You need to know this song. Baka mitai. Oh crap. I'm curious what Akiyama's like flashback is gonna be. Kiryu's was a dog. Saijama's was like an old friend. So we'll see what he regrets. Nah, it's just button presses, no singing. Though, they could probably realistically do it. Oh, there we go. That's him as a young dude, homeless. Oh, good. Yep. Well done. I mean, they've actually performed these songs, so... I, I did not do well. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Let's see. Yeah, worse than Kiryu. Um, I I was on the roll with Saijima that day. Okay, um... I'm guessing this is the new song we'll have to learn with Haruka. I'm just gonna go with this one, because this is, like, catchy. I went passionate because I just want to show you how hard it gets. I'm gonna suck at this. Just him in a room just getting excited over this music. Hi, 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 hi! Ah! <laughs> Sped up. Oh no. How do I, how, look at, how am I supposed to know when it's gonna speed up? Yeah, he's being the hype man. He's just sitting in a room by himself, just listening to the music. Like, yeah, pop music! Fuck yeah! yeah. He's being so loud. La 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 la
This is what's happening in the game right now. I sound exactly like him. What? <laughs> really? No, I'm good. That's just... Yeah. I was just curious what his regret was. Yeah, I mean, that's fun. Yeah, I mean, if, if I wanted to, I could go to the night venue and, um, you know, date a girl. Like, have conversations with them. Talk about their hobbies and their interests and what. No, don't! Oh. Wait, what? Ow! I'm so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Are you alright? Looks like you took the worst of it. Yes, uh, I'm fine. It's just that I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, sure. Uh, go ahead. You don't have to worry about me. I'm so sorry. I have to go. There's a girl in a hurry. I wonder what's going on. Hello? Hey, it's Yamaura. Akiyama-san. I was wondering, are you free right now? Uh, I should be. What's up? Sorry to drop this on you all of a sudden, but you think you could head over to Ashitaba Park? Why? A talent, uh, a girl, got lost, so I told her to go there and wait. Her name's Strawberry Maya? Her agency is pushing her real hard right now. You know her? Can't say I do. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, her agency is pretty small. It's totally on me, but I completely it completely slipped my mind that we're supposed to be looking after her just for today. See, her manager's getting married today. And since our agencies are pretty tight with one another, we agreed to look after Maya for the day. Stupid me, I forgot all about it, and our schedule's booked solid. And you want me to pick up the slack? Bingo! Glad we're on the same page. There's really no one else we can turn to. I mean, you run your own company, right? Surely you can be a talent manager for a day. Well, actually, I let my secretary handle that kind of stuff. In fact, she handles pretty much everything. It'll be okay. If anyone can do it, you can. I'm counting on you, Akiyama san I don't know. Uh, what does being a talent manager entail anyway? My schedule is already set for the day. You're pretty much just a chaperone. Ah, oh, also, Maya's being promoted as a naturally perky, quirky girl to try to keep her in character. What do you mean? Ah, uh, she's what now? Maya's actually really timid and proper and the like, but they're pushing her as a silly character. Why would they make a girl like that adopt that kind of persona? I don't know. It wasn't my call. Please, Akiyama-san, can you do this for me? I could really use your help. All right. Yeah, I'm one, Yam uh, or a son. All right, you're a lifesaver. So it was the girl we just bumped into then. Okay, I'll explain Maya's schedule. Listen closely now. First, meet with Maya at Ashitaba Park. Oh crap! I'm gonna have to write this down. <laughs> I'm not gonna. It, it's almost midnight. Listen, I've I've had a long day. I'm I'm not about to like remember a schedule. Okay. Meet at park. Go to magazine interview at diner chair. Okay. Take a take to certain TV for a taping. Okay. And finally, she's to appear on then another TV appearance on Love Quiz. You get all that? Don't forget. Okay. Oh, yeah. I should probably write the TV show down. Love to see you smile. Okay. You can count. You got the Sakiyama. See you later. I write it down. Okay. First, I have to find our Strawberry Meyer at Ashitaba Park. Hurry. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. He was waiting. Is this going to be on the test? Most likely. Sometimes there are literal tests. Good stuff. Um, alright, so, uh, I forget which park it is. I think it's the triangle one, but let's just see. Ashitab is the triangle park. Alright, cool. I'm, like, partially familiar with this town. This isn't the town that is featured in most of the games. They don't put waypoints. Uh, you can take taxis to like one end of the town to the other. But I mean, when you play these, the game enough, you do learn the layout. It's just I'm bad with directions. It's just in games, I'm bad with directions. <laughs> I'm more familiar with the other town, because that one has appeared in so many games, I know the layout by now. This one has appeared in three games, I think. Wait, why, do we, why did they- what? Why are they here? Okay, listen, I heard you wanted a bike for Christmas. Hey, let me give you a bike for Christmas. I can't pick up a bike, never mind. Um Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Chun Li, yeah. That's a very Chun Li move. I just knocked that dude on his ass. Okay, he's fine. I mean, the combat is fun. I don't know, I find it very cathartic. There's Ashitaba Park, now to find this Maya girl. Uh, um, um... Huh? Huh? Aren't you the long young lady who bounced off me earlier? I'm terribly sorry about that. I'm, uh, Strawberry Maya. It does sound like a drink. Now I can't unthink that. Huh? You are? Yes, I beg your pardon, but are you Akiyama-san of Dynachair? Well, sort of. I'm not an employee of Dynachair, but... Oh, you aren't? Yamalura-san asked me to serve as your manager today. I hope I can measure up. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Yamaura-san said you got lost. Is that why you were in such a rush? My sense of direction is awful. I walked all over Sotenbori, but I couldn't find Dynachair. You don't say. Alright then, let's get started. It's my job to get you to your appointments today. Okay, your first job today is... What was it now? Um, magazine interview first. First up is a magazine interview. We have to go to Dino Chair for that. Okay, thanks so much. Okay, good, it's on an escort. <laughs> I was worried I'd have to walk. Well, this is it, Dino Chair. Oh, could you wait a moment, please? Huh? Everything alright? During interviews like this, I always get my manager to guide me with cue cards. Cue cards? So you can read off them? Yes, I'm supposed to be a naturally perky and quirky character, but if I don't watch it, I go back to being my usual ordinary self. To avoid that, I have my manager guide me with cue cards. Oh boy. Hey, sir. How's it going? Merry Christmas. Um, thanks for the 40 months. Ah, uh, I'm worried about this. Could you please guide me for today, Akiyama-san? 
Uh, sure, that's fine, but I'm going to need you to elaborate. What exactly does a naturally perky and quirky character look like? The basic premise is that I'm a princess from the Strawberry Kingdom who's secretly visiting Japan. Alright. Yo, what? Also, to indicate emotion, Maya always changes the final word of a sentence. If she's happy, Maya says pal palump. Okay, I'm gonna have to write this down. <laughs> so many... L you see what I mean? I'm solving a murder mystery, and now I'm gonna have to have cue cards that say ridiculous things like palump. You stop working? Oh, boy. Yeah, I just had Christmas today, like, with the fam. It was, it was fun. Just unwinding for the day now. Holding cue cards for strawberry person. If Maya is... Okay, so happy is palump. Oh my god. Um, if ang... So pon is angry. Okay. She strikes a po... If she is confu... If she is confused, she strikes a pose and says, Foon ya pa. Confused. <laughs> you get that? Burn your pa. No, no, no. You need to strike a pose like this. Burn your pa. You're braver than most, you know that? Yes, honestly, it's something I would rather not do. Whenever I see myself doing it on TV, well, kind of hard to live with. Jeez, this is depressing. But if the manager isn't quick enough with a cue card, I have to say something to avoid any awkward silence. Ah, that's why you need the cue cards. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not too confident about doing that. Oh, please. I really need it. If I break character, my boss will kill me. Yeah, I'll do the best I can. Hopefully not literally. <laughs> the joys of working for the NHS, yeah. Well, hopefully it's not too long a day. Oh, that is an outfit. Hello, I'm Asano with Beginner Magazine. We're a talent audition news magazine. Today we're hoping to delve a little into Maya-chan's private life. We- oh my god, she's French. It's even French. We, nice to meet you- PALUMP! <laughs> so Strawberry Maya-chan comes as advertised. Are you always like that even when you're not on TV? But of course, PALUMP! Maya is the princess of the Strawberry Kingdom after all. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes you are. Forgive me. Wow, Maya-chan's really laying it on thick. She's not only so sincere and serious, too. It must be tough for her to keep it up. I can't let her effort go to waste. I have to make sure I get her cue cards right. She says palump when she's happy, pon when she's angry, and foon your pa if she's stuck for an answer. My chum, can you tell us how you spend your holidays? What does someone like you on their, do on their time off? Hmm, Maya can't do without her strawberry carriage. She just loves taking it out for long drives. A uh, strawberry carriage? What is that? The strawberry carriage is a giant strawberry drawn by white stallions. The premise is... I'm sorry, did you just say premise? Oh, uh, um, um... Off to a great start, I see. Okay, here's where I come in with the cue cards. What should I write? Silo... Uh, the auto picked! Ah, uh, well. Bun ya pa! Ha, yes. There it is. Bin ya pa. I love that bit, Maya-chan. I must have screwed up. Maya-chan said she didn't want to do Funya Par unless she had to. This will be the final question. We received credible reports that you're actually from Osaka, Maya-chan. Would you care to comment? So not true. Maya is the princess of Strawberry Kingdom. Pun! There are photos circulating online that are perpetually a view from a junior high... Ugh, I can't read. Junior high yearbook! Are you aware of this? Pardon? Is that true? This doesn't look good. I went to the school and spoke with one of your teachers. She said that you are a timid, but rather thoughtful and considerate student. 
Ah, uh, well, you see. Let me ask you straight. Is it hard to keep up the story with my chan character? Don't worry, this can be off the record. This interview is not playing nice. Maya needs a cue card. Um. Yeah. All right, Maya chan, read this. Been up too much? Uh. I've uh, been. Because I moved in November, like, December's been just about wrapping up work for the year. And then, you know, my break started this week, so... I've just been relaxing and doing a bit of a mental reset. Just catching up on games that I haven't had a chance to play. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot. So... I got three weeks off, which is nice. My is an acting pun. Uh, okay, you know... Maya-chan, I have to hand it to you. Your dedication. You're a real pro. Heh. <laughs> that went well. That did not go well. Yeah, that's one job down. Yes, thank you. But we still have more to do. Okay. What's next? Um, love to see you smile. Alright, oh, you're going to be on Love to See You Smile. Let's get you over to Soten TV. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, I mean, I don't take much time off. I have a lot of leave saved up, so... Usually at the end of the year, because there's not a whole lot going on work-wise, I take the three weeks. Hello, welcome to Love to See You Smile. How is everybody doing? Love to See You Smile is a talk show. Maya Chan's really going to need those cue cards to stay in character. I see, I see, but I have to know, do you really have fans? Ooh, we, oui, very much so. I enjoy the love and support of everyone in the Strawberry Kingdom. Let's set aside the Kingdom of Strawberries for a sec. How about Osaka? Do you have fans in this neck of the woods? We, oui, we, oui, I adore. I am adored in Osaka too. How dare you doubt me, no Misan Pan? Okay, so far so good. Well, you'd be cute if you weren't babbling nonsense. Word of advice? That bit about the Strawberry Kingdom isn't doing you any favors. Huh? It's not? Of course it's not. When someone comes in with a weird gimmick like that, it makes it harder to engage in banter. If you ask me, Maya-chan, you ought to go to your agency and talk it over with them. Maybe consider switching up your brand a little, you know? Something proper. Ah, uh, but I... This S calls for a cue card, but what should I write? Okay, my chan, look here. The Strawberry Kingdom is real, pawn. It's not some made up backstory, pawn. My, you're an obstinate one. Don't you find it tiring to keep up that quirky, perky charade day in, day out? Um, I would say, yeah, if, like, if it's the complete opposite of your personality, man. No, not at all. This is just who I am. Please, you can't fool me. Even when you do that Funyapa pose, your eyes tell me you can't stand it. But Funyapa is a, a standard greeting in the Strawberry Kingdom. It'd be silly for me to find it humiliating. Oh, come off it already. Incidentally, who thought up that Funyapa thing anyway? I can read English. I am speaking in an announcer voice. Here are. Uh oh, time for another cue card. What I write this time? We're out of options. My turn. Pin your pa him. Pin your pa. Oh come on, that's not fair. <laughs> I have to admit, the pin your pa thing's convenient, even if my chan doesn't like doing it. I feel like, yeah, just do it. Ugh, well, that's it for love to see you smile, but we still have one more job to do. Yes, it's a quiz program, Sodenbori Love Quiz. Let me guess, to maintain the quirky image, you have to get the answers wrong, is that right? Yes, that's right. The agency told me I must not answer correctly. Oh man, this is a depressing job. They don't make it easy for you, do they? The quiz is made up of true or false questions. If I am to answer incorrectly, I'll need to know which answer is actually correct. 
Okay, I get that. I'll need you to guide me with the cue cards again. Will you please help me? Of course. Uh, I'm right behind you. Okay, here's the problem. It depends what the questions are, but, like, I, I might not know them, so... Welcome to the show, Strawberry Maya-chan. Maya-chan, you're well known for your quirky ways, but some rumors say you're actually a quiet, serious, and relatively ordinary person. Oh, no, no, no. I am not quirky at all. I am the princess of the Strawberry Kingdom. Ah, please forgive me. Now, let's begin, shall we? It's time for the Sodenbori Love Check Quiz. Okay, let's get the cue cards ready. For Maya-chan to stay in character, she has to give wrong answers, meaning I have to give her the wrong answers. Oh. Does anyone know this? Between Osaka and Tioka, Tokyo, Tioko, Tokyo, Osaka is, is Osaka bigger than Tokyo? <laughs> I should just Google this. Oh, uh, it's like almost midnight. Come on, man. This is not fair. Siri, is Osaka bigger than Tokyo? Okay, Osaka is smaller than Tokyo. So I have to answer true. My chance, say true. That's true. Incorrect. Question two. Two times three times four times zero divided by two equals zero. False. Maya-chan, say false. I believe it's false. Incorrect! Question three. Dolphins are mammals. True or false? Maya-chan, say false. This one's false. Incorrect. Question four. Idol and idol. Both are people. True or false? True. Maya-chan, say true. Definitely true. Okay, we're doing the right thing. We have to get everything wrong. The first computer ran on batteries. False. I think this... Oh, crap. <laughs> the final day of July is the 31st. Um... Fuck's sake. It's false. I ruined it. <laughs> Maya chan, say false. It's okay. Like, she can get one right. The legal drinking age is 18. Siri, what is the legal drinking age in Japan? What is the legal drinking age in Japan? It's looking. This is this depends because every country is different. In America, it's twenty-one. It's twenty. Okay. So then I say true. Say true. In Australia, it's eighteen. Okay. Good. Question eight. H is for hydrogen. H is for oxygen. Na is for nitrogen. Uh, true. Because it's wrong. Say true! Question 9. French toast did not originate in France. False. Say false! Okay, good. The French Revolution came before... What year was the French Revolution? Okay. What year was the Russian Revolution? Okay. Um, 
the the French Revolution was in the 1700s, the Russian was in the 1900s. I should know that the Russian was in the 1900s. That was the whole like czar thing. That was like the World War One catalyst. Um. Hang on. I need to say false. <laughs> I know the answer. I just I have to make a get the wrong answer. Okay, cool. I mean, that's fine. I have to say, the results are what we expected. Were the questions perhaps too challenging for a princess from the Strawberry Kingdom? Ooh, we indeed they were. Much too hard for me. Paloop! Thank you for coming, Strawberry Maya. Join us next time on Certain Bori Love Quiz. I mean, that would suck. Like, they've made her brand that she's a moron. I mean, the whole quirky thing, that's fine. But, like, they're telling her to purposely get things wrong. Good job, Maya-chan. Appreciate you bearing with me. Oh no, Akiyama-san. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm sorry I'm so high maintenance. Not at all, Maya-chan. You're doing all the work. I admire your commitment. Thank you. Something wrong? I don't know if I can keep this up much longer. It feels so forced and fake trying to go forward with a character who's nothing like me. Ah. Uh. What originally prompted you to market yourself this way? My manager told me I would never make it if I took a conventional approach. But it's really my fault. I'm usually so timid, and I get all flustered when I talk to people. What I really want is a job on a children's TV program where I can sing together with kids. I've always liked children, and I used to play with them every day. Really? Well... When you put it that way, your character might not be so out of line. Kids love that kind of thing, right? I thought so too, but... I've only ever appeared on variety programs. I haven't done a single job where I got to sing with kids. Yeah, they're like doing that infantile shit. It's... it's creepy. That's why I'm wondering if it's even worth it to keep pretending to be someone I'm not. What good is it if I can't even follow my dreams? There's two ways of doing it. It's like, you know, in in Central America, there are shows where adults act like children and it's for comedy and, you know, that's their job. It's they are doing a comedy show. But this is just she's going on things where normal people like actors and actresses and actual real pop stars are going on here being normal and they're just, I don't know. Marketing her as, like, just weird and dumb. They're not laughing with her, they're laughing at her. That's pretty much it. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. The poor girl's exhausted. As a manager, I should try to cheer her up. Um, Akiyama-san, do you think I should drop the whole silly Strawberry Kingdom thing? Um... Well, this is the la this is the last thing, so. Carry on for your fans. Doubting yourself helps you grow. Yeah, I mean, she's not happy, man. Yeah, I think you should. Pardon? From what I saw today, it's obvious you're forcing yourself to be someone you're not. You'd be better off losing that persona right away. Who thought up the whole Strawberry Kingdom premise anyway? It was the agency president's idea. Oh, it was your president's doing. That definitely makes it a little more difficult to drop the act. Then what should I do? Well, if you ask me, I think you should drop it. Still, it's up to you to tell your boss. Right. I may have been completely out of line in saying that. I'm just your manager for the day. It's not as though you have to take it to heart or anything. That was out of line. It's tough to be a manager for a young girl. I was being honest, though. Eh? You expecting someone? Um, well... And, uh, you are? Huh? What do you mean? You don't know who I am? Huh? Sukihara-san. Maya-chan, you know this guy? Um, yes. Haven't you heard Akiyama-san? Sugihara-san is a big name in the comedy world. 
Ah, right. I haven't seen. I may have seen them on TV. So, Sugihara san, what brings you here? Um, Sugihara san has been offering me a spot on one of his regular programs, but. Say, my chan, baby. Why you've been avoiding me? We should continue our discussion from before. Maybe somewhere private? Well, it's just I. Not to worry. Come on my show and you'll be riding my rocket to stardom. Um, you, you see? Hey, I can understand your concerns. It's a big career move. What do you say we grab a bite somewhere and get to know each other a little better? Say, Maya-chan, is this guy hounding you? Yes, I, I've been turning him down. Uh, turning down his advances. People tell me I have to watch myself around Sugihara-san on account of his thing for newcomers. Hey, who the hell are you? You ain't the usual manager, are ya? Sounds to me like you should piss off. The Australian accent is great for this character because you said piss. You're right. I'm not a manager. Then get out. I got things to discuss with my chan in private. Sorry, pal. No can do. What? You have any idea who you're talking to? <laughs> so you're the big name in comedy? Wouldn't you know it, I'm not involved in the entertainment industry in the slightest. Huh? In other words, you could be the emperor of entertainment, but as far as I'm concerned, you're just another sleaze. What? If you want to keep running your mouth, I suggest you keep that in mind. <laughs> Screw you, smug bastard. Oh, we're not going to fight him? Okay. Thank you so much, Akiyama-san. <laughs> Sad to think guys like him actually exist. Show business is a scary place. <laughs> I'll take you back to Sedenbori. It's been fun, but I'm afraid our time together's over. Yes, uh, I suppose it is. I hope she quits. Well, she's out of the outfit. Okay, I better get going. Akiyama-san. Hang in there, my chan I'll be cheering for you from the other side of the TV. Take care. Ah, uh, who is this? Hey, Miran. I forgot how to pronounce the name. Hello. <laughs> Ap apologies if I butchered it. I do remember. Who is this? Oh, no. Tsukihara-san. You think you can just stroll away after dissing me to my face, you little punk? I'll show you what I'm about. Really? You know, for a big star, you are amazingly petty. Everything I wanted, I took and I made it mine. You want to make it big, you gotta be determined to take whatever you want. <laughs> you make for a pretty good speaker if your head weren't so far up your ass. Akiyama-san, what should we do? No problem. Keeping talent safe is part of a manager's job. My chan may I ask you to step back a little? Sure. I'll show you. Get him, boys. He'll be singing a different tune once we rip his arms off. I don't know. I just every single bad guy I just do the like extra Australian voice. <laughs> I, I don't- I can't do many different voices. <laughs> I, I stick to what I've got. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like Chun-Li powers. Okay, well I can get rid of the note that explained like how her mannerisms work. Wait, what? All these guys by yourself? Screw this, I'm out of here! You're amazing, Akiyama-san. Heh. <laughs> you alright? I'm so glad you were my manager today, Akiyama-san. But now this is really the end, isn't it? Yeah, that's how it goes. I get to meet all kinds of people in this job, but things tend to move so quickly. I usually never see them again. Thank you so much for everything today, Akiyama-san. Thanks to you, I was able to focus on my work. Alright. Well, glad to hear it. 
I'm usually very guarded around people, so I was worried about not having my usual man just to steer me today. But I'm very glad I got you instead, Akiyama-san. So, um, if you don't mind, may I give you these? A red jewel. I'm still poor, so that's about all I could give you to show my gratitude. Sorry it's not much. No, no. You made my day. Thank you. Thank you again, Akiyama-san. I'm pretty high maintenance, aren't I? I'm painfully aware of it. Yeah, well, it definitely made the manager job a lot more interesting. I'm sure your regular manager feels the same. You really think so? Well, I was your manager for the day. I'd like to think I've earned at least that much trust. <laughs> you have. Okay. Akiyama-san, thank you so much for today. Goodbye. Hey, Colin. How's it going? Merry Christmas as well. Keep at it, my chan Okay. Oh, there's another sub story here. All right, cool. Mow down your enemy with a trinity of strikes. Oh, that looks like a. Hang on. Run amid three enemies and then press triangle. That sounds like fun. It looks like it's a breakdancing move, so I'm curious. Um. Okay, Paul's. I mean, let's just get some. Some soul. I just want to balance it out a little. Uh, what is going on over here? Hey, uh, pal. What are you doing? Yeah. Don't try to stop me! I have to kill myself! Oh, well... You're probably not going to die if you jump from there. Not unless you can't swim. Huh? Really? <sighs> You idiot, stay out of this. I was just start it was just starting to get good too. Well that sucked. Let's go. Hey Gammy, Merry Christmas. Huh? I'm the bad guy here. <sighs> Sorry to drag you into this. No kidding. I feel like a real ass trying to play the good guy. I'm sorry. So, why kill yourself? I'm already involved, I may as well hear you out. I was a little short on money, so I went for Loan Shark, and long story short, I now owe more than I can to ever hope to pay. You should have consulted a lawyer right away. They would have shut down any threats in no time flat. Well, the Loan Shark seems to know that. They said they'd kill me if I went to a lawyer, plus they're watching my every move, so I couldn't call one even if I wanted to. So you settled on killing yourself? You didn't really think that through, did you? It's always this way with me. I fail at everything I do. This debt isn't even mine. I was forced into being a guarantor. And now it turns out I can't even kill myself properly. I don't know what to do anymore. Ah, depressing. But you're in luck for a change. After all, it was none other than me who stopped you from jumping. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Akiyama. I run a money lending business by the name of Sky Finance. What? You're a loan shark too? Oh, I get it. You seem all friendly at first. Then watch. You're going to bleed me dry just like the rest of them. <laughs> now, now. Just hear me out. The loan sharks and I are a little different when it comes to loan applications. I only have one condition. That you pass the test I assign. Test? Right. If you pass, you qualify for a loan with no maximum limit, no interest, and no collateral. That's our speciality. No limit, no interest, no collateral? How is that even possible? Let me worry about that. So, what do you say? Care to take my test? Ah, uh, yes? Yes, please. Okay then, let's get to work. Your test is simple. Go to the lender's office right now and tell them you're going to a lawyer. But I can't. I told you, if I so much as think about talking to a lawyer, they'll kill me. Why would you make me do that? You can whine all you want, but that's my test. It's up to you. 
You in or out? Uh, but... Look, you weren't doing a very good job, but you were trying to kill yourself, right? Try using that nothing to the left to lose attitude to face your problem head on and not run away from it. This could be your last chance, you know. <laughs> Kiyama-san, I... Oh, okay, I get it. I'll do it. Great, let's not waste any time. Where's their office? They're over in West Shofukucho. Good. Off you go, then. Don't worry. I'm with you all the way. If they kill you, I'll spring for your funeral. Uh, thank you. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Will he actually go through with this? He said the lenders in West Shofukucho. I better go take a look. Oh, he left something. Another locker key. I'm getting ready for today. More cleaning till everyone comes. Oh, no. Well, definitely not too much cleaning. Worst show, Fukucho. <laughs> That's Sodenbori Street. East Sodenbori Street. East. Right, so most likely it's it's this one here. I mean, we've got the same. I'm probably just gonna do side quests today. <sighs> Give me a break, Gramps. Get out of my way. First, pick up that cigarette you tossed. This isn't a garbage dump. Everyone uses the street. Stupid old fuck. This street's full of litter already. Why you gotta pick on me? Oh. If the street's already dirty, then it's okay? How'd you like it if I threw my garbage away at your house? Hey, the fuck's going on over here? Ah, there you are. This old goat won't leave me alone. Ah, is that right? Well, I was just telling him not to throw his cigarette butts in into the street. Ain't so high and mighty now, are ya? Look at my- one look at my boy. Here's got you pissing your pants. I, I just... Hey, Gramps. How about an apology? Get down on the street and grovel a little. Come on, hurry up. You can't just go around disrespecting people, old man. But if you bow down to us, all will be forgiven. You have my word. Just kneel down and don't make a fuss. <laughs> you can't... Just show us you learned your lesson. And we won't have to break your legs. You got that? Ah, what kind of van do you fools take me for? If you think for one second I'm going to bow down to you, then you're even dumber than you look. What's that? Ain't nothing for me to apologize about. You won't catch me kneeling down to the likes of you. You want to fight? I'm more than willing. No point in being bullheaded, Gramps. You're going to go to the hospital over a cigarette butt? Yeah. Zip it. You're the one causing trouble here. I'll teach you blockheads a lesson. Very funny, Gramps. You spit in our faces, you ought to know that. No way we're backing now. Backing down now. Uh, might be a good idea if you ask me. Huh? The two of you picking on this old timer. Uh, you'd never lie. You'd never live that one down. What? You sure you want to take that attitude with us? I'll tell you what. You walk away, I'll back down too. But if you lay a finger on this guy, you'll have to deal with me. Who are you? That's the passerby. Uh, it was nice to hear someone sticking up for himself for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Say, thanks. You talk big game, but you really ought to think of the consequences before you mouth off. Your life just got a whole lot shorter. We'd never hear the end of this if we'd let this go. Got no choice but to spill some blood. Uh-oh. You, now you really made him mad. Ha 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 Too bad. I'll teach you to mess with us. You have a random question. Do your microwaves not have numbers on it? What do you mean not have numbers on it? Is this like a question like, do your toilets flush backwards because you live in the southern hemisphere? 
It depends on the microwave. Like, some of them, they have numbers. Some of them, they have program stickers on them. But then, they also have a number in the corner. Yeah, it has a keypad. But some of them, like, they have pictures instead, and then they have a keypad. What do you what do you think we use instead of numbers? Like if we don't have numbers, what do you think we use? The fuck who the hell are you guys? Want another round? Gah. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, hold on. Pick up your cigarettes first. Sorry, I'll get it. I think I need to drink water. The problem when I try to do Akiyama's voice is like it's I guess I don't know. I definitely need to drink water. Appreciate you lending a hand. That was some fine work you did. Heh. <laughs> I could say the same about you. Seems you could have done fine without me. <laughs> From the videos you saw, it looks like a dial. Not mine. It might have been an old microwave. It's not an Australian thing. <laughs> Depends on the manufacturer. Oh, in Australia, we use dials, mate. Why the fuck would you want to use a fucking keypad? Dials are analog and more accurate. You fancy yanks with the fucking numbers on the fucking microwave. <laughs> Can you see the microwave? It's just a normal mic. It's just a normal microwave. Like, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> it's nothing fancy. I don't know, I don't know, like, it just, it's just a microwave. Does it have a dial? No, that's, that's the simple answer. Dials are old. Yeah. People gotta think about others too, no double dipping into the sauce after you take a bite. We all might want some, you know? Double dipping into the, the what? Uh, I think you might have lost me. Oh, I should introduce myself. I am Ueyama. I'm the chairman of Kushikatsu Daruma. Ah, the fried pork skew place. That explains the source analogy. I'm Akiyama of Sky Finance. I just set up a branch in Sodenbori. No kidding. Then I might be in touch if I ever need a helping hand. I'm always ready to help people out, hear people out. That's, that's what I was supposed to say. Yeah, it seems like fate could be at work here. You ought to stop by the restaurant if you get a chance. Hopefully, I'll have a new menu together by then. New menu? Uh. I've been racking my brain to come up with one. I was starting to get frustrated. And then that idiot tossed his butt into the streets. Makes the blood boil, don't it? I couldn't control my temper. You mean all that fuss was you taking out your frustrations on him? <laughs> Well, uh, maybe I was a little prickier, pricklier than usual, but never mind that. Anyhow, here's a little something as a token of my thanks. Hope to see you at Kushikatsu Daruma, Akiyama-san. A button we use for a potato. Mine has a potato button. Like, imagine a standard keypad, and then every button on that keypad is a button to do, like, a specific thing. Maybe... Reheating, defrosting, potato, um, like veggies, soup, right? It has a dedicated button, but then on that button, there's a standard number on the keypad. That's all it is. It's it's just a keypad. And then you can just do a quick program by pressing, like, you press program and then the picture. Or you can go time and then enter the time in. Whatever you do to your... <laughs> Whatever, whatever you do to your microwave, I'd probably do something similar. Uh, if you're picturing, like, some kind of steampunk microwave, I I'm gonna disappoint you. Hang on, before I continue, I'm gonna get water. <laughs> My Akiyama voice is making me thirsty.
Yeah, I mean, it's just, ugh, I don't know. Where, wherever you saw it, it was probably like a meme post or just someone has a very old microwave. How about this? I have never seen a microwave with a dial, ever, in my life. Does, does that help? It was two different people? Well, I don't know. I'm the third, and I'm going to say in my, like, entire life I have not seen a microwave with a dial. Across, like, all the houses I've been in. Here's the thing, Australians also have a habit of lying to people, like... You know, particularly to Americans. <laughs> it's just, it's like a national sport here. We have Americans convinced that the, there's like a carnivorous koala looking thing that'll just drop from the sky and maul people. You know, it just, it could be a case of, it's possible those two people are fucking with you. Because that's just what Australians do. Ooh, this looks good. I'm getting this. Here's your check. Can I take a picture of my microwave? It's just a normal microwave. Like... <laughs> Michael, I'd like... <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. I'm gonna- I'm gonna make a prediction here, right? Like, in my entire lifetime, I've probably seen 30 microwaves, okay? 30 microwaves, and all of them look like this. What, like, some form of this. A keypad, some program buttons, and then, you know, the start and the stop button, and then something that increases the time by, like, 30 seconds or a minute, and a button to open the door. That's every single microwave I've seen in the, like, 30-plus years of my memory. My microwave is, is basically that. It's not literally that, but like it is some it is some form of that. <laughs> you know what happens to know a sky fire? Like what? I, I can't even. I don't even know what microwave with dials. What? This is derailing. This is derailing now. Okay, I guess so. For the sake of conversation, this is what this is what you're talking about. Wait, that's the same. Okay, so that's hang on. That's comparison. Oh, that is a crusty JPEG. I have never seen anything like like the right one in my life ever. Not once. Not once. Yeah. Yours does have a potato button. Dude, mine has a carrot button. I don't know why. Like, who... I mean, it says carrot, but I'm sure it means carrots plural. Like, why would I... Why would I have a button dedicated for carrots? Sky Finance? Never heard of it. I see. Sorry to bother you. Wish I could be of help. He's looking for us. Could be a new client. Are you looking for Sky Finance? Hey. Huh? Oh, hi there. That's right. How'd you know? 
I just heard you asking about it. I see. I should have guessed. I am indeed looking for a place called Sky Finance. Do you know it? Yeah, it's right over there. <laughs> ah, it was right there all along, huh? <laughs> Silly me. Oh, and you're looking at the owner. Huh? The name's Akiyama. I'm president of Sky Finance. Looking to take out a loan? Huh? You motherfucker! So you're the piece of shit who thinks he can start up his own money like in Giga what? Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, that's me. What? Jojo. Like, we're gonna let you get away with that. We don't want no shady types around here, you feel me? It'll ruin the city. There are other money lenders in the area. What about them? Huh? Shut it! We don't take kindly to outsiders telling us how to run business here. Now pack up shop and get your greasy ass out of town. Look. I've already got everything cleared with the city office. Wait. Like I give a fuck. You're handing out zero interest in definite term loans, right? You got another thing coming if you think that shit'll fly around here. Okay, I get it, pal. You're a local competitor and you've come to chase me off, right? Well, you needn't worry. We target a different type of clientele. I doubt we'll interfere with your business. Huh? Did I say you could talk, jerkwad? I ain't here to chew the fat with ya! I'm telling you to piss off or else! Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You wouldn't want to cause a disturbance now, would you? You're gonna regret this. Fine. Sure. If you ain't gonna listen, prepare to meet Jamaica. Um, yeah, I should probably calm down with the bogan voice, huh? Like, it's gonna hurt my throat. Also, hey, next <laughs> Merry Christmas. Wait, what is this? Check Discord. Okay, so Nick, Nikto has a dial microwave. So, there you go. It's not Australian. Nikto has one. So, it's not Australians being weird. It's like, it's just, it depends what model you have. Maybe Americans are the weird one, huh? Why don't you have microwaves with dials in America? Why don't you have kettles? Why don't you have this device that you plug into the wall, you put water in it, and it boils your water so then you don't have to use a stovetop? How about that, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, I'm drinking water. This is not what most people have, though, but it exists. It exists. Yours is cheap. But I guess the point is, it exists. It exists in Europe, it exists in Australia. What's, what's, what's going on? You sure can fight, where'd you learn to move like that? Ah, thanks, uh, are we good now? Glad, yeah, glad we saw that this misunderstanding. <laughs> Let me give you a little time to... Huh? Wait, my wallet. Hold on a sec. Alright, here we go. Yep. Get a Makiyama. Uh, why is why is that attack even a thing? Like it it never hits. So what are people's plans for our uh, Christmas? Now that my Christmas is done. Got anything good going on? I got some, uh... Some clothing, and I got some tea. Some pretty nice tea, actually. Some summer tea. It's like a... a mango and mint one that I want to try. It's like a summer tea. It's pretty nice. So I'll make iced tea out of that. 
and I got uh my bro one of my brothers got me a Dragon Ball art book. So it's like the history of Dragon Ball in art form. So it's got like a lot of manga panels and just really nice artwork. And one for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So really cool stuff. Two of my favorite like anime. Uh, come on, don't make me run. You want to get kicked around some more? Gah, sorry. Uh, I just didn't think. Uh, I'm beat. Can I go now? Whatever you want. Here, take this as a housewarming gift. You better not go for my pockets again. I won't. I'm exhausted. Tattered scarf. Let me know if you have any... And be seeing ya. Ugh, good grief. It's always tough moving into a new town. Yada yada da <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, what you're supposed to say. I still have a bottle of the eggnog in the fridge. It's like the non-alcoholic rum flavored one. I'm gonna have to make an effort to finish that. Um, excuse me, but, um, are you Mr. Bad Boy? Mr. Bad Boy? Who's Mr. Bad Boy? Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. Eh, uh, sure. Listen, are you meeting someone? Since you don't know what the guy looks like, I'm guessing it's someone you met online. I thought I'd recognize the uniform. She must go to the same school as Haruka-chan. That uniform. Which school is it from? It's a local high school, right? I'm sorry, but would you mind leaving me alone? <laughs> Oops, uh, sorry about that. That's uh, none of my business. My apologies. Hey, did I keep you waiting, sweet cheeks? You're Kazumi-chan, right? Yes, that's me. Are uh, you, um, Mr. Bad Boy? In the, in the flesh, baby. I, I see you did, like I asked, and came in uniform. Oh, look at you, you're fine, fine, and fine, I approve. That's not total, huh? Uh, I want to get much closer, uh, look at you. Uh, but I, do, I don't... What's wrong, baby? You don't want the money, don't you? Come along now. Uh, okay. Where is this going? Must be one of those paid relationships. Guys headed straight to a love hotel, I bet. There's a love hotel at the south end of Shofukucho. Damn it, I've seen too much to stay out of this. You still have egg more eggnog, you got more? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with mine. Cause I have to make an effort to drink it. It's pretty rich, it's like I can't have a lot of it. Mind you, I haven't tried it with like rum or anything yet. What is going on here? Where is Sky Finance? It should be around here. Huh? Looks like I might have another customer. I've already got a lot to deal with. What should I do with her? Talk to her. If I don't deal with business once in a while, Hana-chan will have my hide. Excuse me, uh, were you looking for my office? Huh? Are you from Sky Finance, then? Bingo. I'm the president, Akiyama. <laughs> Ooh, you're Akiyama-san? Fabulous. I've been looking for you. Have you now? So, what might this be about? I want to borrow money. 
I see, you're off to financing. That's not exactly something to be discussed in the street. How about we take this to my office? First, may I have your name, please? Hi. Nanaka Kadama. Okay, Kadama-san. You mentioned you were seeking a loan. How much were you hoping to get? Well... 300 million? 300 million? Mm. Yes, I heard that you lend any amount. Sheesh. Word on the street's getting really out of hand. You mean you won't lend me the money? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Why exactly would you need that kind of money? You see, I'm actually a pin-up idol. Heh. <laughs> well, you certainly look like one. Nice boobs, too. Okay, Akiyama. Akiyama-san, I heard about you from an older girl. She said you took care of her. Did she now? And? What does a pin-up idol want from me? It's my agency. They stopped treating me with the kind of respect I deserve. They said they're changing my promotion approach and suddenly demanded that I change my public persona. They call you an idol, but that's just a title. I imagine even an idol will have to change to meet the market's demands and needs. Yeah. My fans aren't like that. They know Nanako Kodama is the real deal. What you see is what you get. If I were to suddenly change, I'd be betraying my fans. I can understand that, but your agency must think you can attract even more fans by doing so. It's not about numbers. I most certainly can't and won't betray the people who have supported me so far. Huh. Long story short, I decided I'd be better off promoting myself. You're looking to go independent? Yes. I, if I want to stay me, I have to set up my own agency and represent myself. I see. In other words, you're seeking a loan to kickstart your own agency. That about sum it up? Exactly. Do you have any seed money? None. Business plan? Nope. Really? So... Why 300 million yen? I'm sorry? Since you're in the entertainment business, you should know that. Behind the glitz, glamour, money is oftentimes extremely tight. Not even the top stars get promoted with that massive budget these days. <laughs> You're looking at it backwards. Spend 300 million yen and you can make a star out of just about anyone. It's just like Korean dramas and music. They only broke out in Japan after being promoted like crazy. This is no different. You may have a point there. I don't think you should go cheap on promotion just because the economy is bad. Success takes risk. I want to prove my agency wrong and succeed as Nanako Kodama. Just as who I am. No faking it. For that, I need 300 million yen. I get the picture. Okay, then. Instead of a loan assessment, I'll have you take some tests. If you can pass them, the 300 million is yours. Tests? Indeed. Success takes risks. Isn't that what you just said? I get it. Okay. I'll do it. If it means making my dream come true, I'll do anything you ask. I like your attitude. So, what would you have me do? Uh, let's see. What should her assignment be? <laughs> Put that body to work. Go collect a loan. Become the number one girl at a cabaret club. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, well, what does what is, what is put that body, like, I hope, is, is it exactly what it sounds like? Put that body to, ugh, uh, 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 I guess become the number one girl at a cabaret, but she can do that. Put that body, ugh. I'll just go with the first one. Let's have you work at a cabaret club. See if you have what it takes to be the number one earner. Huh? Me, a hostess? Yep. I'll hook you up with a friend's club. You'll work there. But this is so out of the blue. I have a busy career too, you know? 
You only have to work one day. If you're the highest earner that day, you pass. If not, you fail. Oh, just one day? That's too easy. I'm a pin-up idol, remember? A celebrity. If I just so much as mention it on my blog, my fans will come stampeding. Does today work? Sure. If you want, I can go right now. Perfect. I'll get in touch with the club, so off you go. The place is called Mama Goto. Okay, 300 million, here I come. Oh well, this should be interesting. Welcome back. That was quick. What kind of place did you send me to? There's no way I could make number one out there. Oh, I thought you said it'd be easy for a celebrity like you to become the top girl. Not when all the girls working at the club are celebrities, they're all pros like me. They sure are. That's the club's big draw. There were even younger girls from my agency. If I could become top earner there, I wouldn't need to go independent. So you gave up without even trying. I guess you failed then. That's too bad. Yeah? Wait, wait a second. I didn't say anything about giving up. But you said you can't win, isn't that right? That's not true. I'll beat the girls from my agency for sure. Just you watch. Well, I thought she was all talk, but she might have more the drive than I expected. Mama go to club is in East Shofukucho. I should swing by and see how she's holding up. Um, yes. It's, we've done a bunch of stuff, so let's just save right now. Oh wow, I can't believe I've already been playing this for like almost two hours. Okay, uh, where are we? Well, there's a lot. Dude, there's still so much. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I mean. So, there probably won't be any story progression today. <laughs> it's just, it's all gonna be sub story stuff, which I don't mind. I'm not complaining, just. There's a lot. Ah. <laughs> 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 Akiyama's moveset is so much fun. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the guy I beat up is in the cutscene and is, and, is, and is in the way. Yep, okay, there he goes. Good work. Okay, it's now or never. Hopefully they won't kill me. Oops. Hang on, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was supposed to go like this. I was gonna add like a marker for clip. Okay. No, I'm going to live. I'm going to get out of this and get my life together. Oh, here I go! Well, I'm eager to see how this plays out. been a while. I suppose I should check in on him. Kind of just Leroy Jenkins into it. He hasn't come out yet. I should go in and see how he's doing.
Oh, he got beat up. Say, you understand? We just want to be friends with you, Sasamoto-kun. When you start talking about a lawyer, it kind of hurts our feelings. Get it, shithead? Uh, yeah, I get it. Oh, good. We're on the same page, then. That's great. No, I mean, I get it now. What it means to use any... To use my nothing to... To use my nothing left to lose attitude. I'm sorry. Huh? I'm going to get my life back together. I'm not going to cower and hide it anymore. I'm not giving in to scum like you. I'm ready to die. You want to kill me? Go ahead and do it. Bastard. Well said. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Hey. You morons. Which one of you left the door open? Am uh, I telling us who you are? We're in a meeting, so we'd appreciate it if you could return some other time. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. He's my customer. I'd be out of some business if I were to, if he were to go dying on me. So I'd like you to let him go. Customer, wait. You telling me you put him up to this? He's been a real pain in the ass, you know. I thought it was weird this limp dick would try pulling a stunt like that. I wish you hadn't encouraged him. He's gonna be our personal ATM for a long time. Your personal ATM, huh? Let me ask you, why are you in this business? What kind of a dumb question is that? What else but the money? Same as you. Flipping other people's money to make more money. Funny thing, I actually hate this business. Yeah? It's the people who need money to turn their lives around, where money is their only hope. That's who I'm in this for. That's why I do what I do. <laughs> wow. How noble. I don't give a flying fuck about your dipshit dreams. Your little speech gives me the creeps. Don't worry, though. We're gonna make you beg for forgiveness, and then we're posting that shit all over the internet. Get him! Okay. I guess these dudes have, uh, social media accounts. Hang on, I, I have the new move. Yeah! Oh, it was multi-press. Still. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't quick enough. Fine. You all right? Akiyama san. So how'd it feel, staring death in the face? It was so scary, I thought I was about to lose it. Heh. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Good going, though. You passed my test with flying colors. Ha. <laughs> I did it. I consulted a lawyer. He got me off the hook with those loan sharks. From now on, I'm in. I'm your customer. Thank you so much for taking me on. Happy to help. Of course, you still have a mountain of debt. You'll have to work it off. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, would you please accept this? I know it may seem odd coming from a borrower, but angle is hook. <laughs> sure. Thanks. I have to get to work. See you around. Uh, he'll be okay, I think. Alright. Wait, what's going on? Oh, there we go. That was weird. It timed out. Sure. Uh, 
Where am I? Okay. This? <clears throat> you gave us the eye, didn't you? Get down on all fours and beg for forgiveness. <laughs> Wait, I did... We did no such thing. We weren't looking at you whatsoever. The fuck is that, Tokyo talk? Ah, your accent makes me want to yak. But we didn't. Uh, we ain't given you another dirty look. You little shit. You dissing the Osaka dialect? No, we... Yo, mind if I cut in? The fuck do you want? Keep your nose out of where it don't belong. Please help us. These guys started harassing us for no reason. They're totally ruining our field trip. What do you mean harassing? Shut your mouth, bitch. Easy there, tiger. They're just a couple of high school kids. How about letting them go, huh? Shut up. I told you to keep out of this. Oh, okay. Plot twists are not high school students. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So the new move is like you run into a group of three and then... Hold up. Stop. Let go. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was cool. Wait, did it just do a triple takedown? Yo. I didn't think it would do that much damage. That was awesome. <sighs> yeah, this dude's too freaking tough. Guy really knows how to fight. Please, man, forgive us. Thank you very much. Yeah, you saved us. For some reason, a sucker dialect makes guys like that way scarier. Oh, they were actually high schoolers. Yo, I saw you lay the smack down on those guys. You're really something, you know that? Huh? Who might you be? I am Hide. Yo, I'm a dancer. That was some funky footwork you were flipping out there. Oh, what was that funky footwork? Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Not many guys can hop around like you. You're like some kind of spring-heeled demon. That told me everything I needed to know. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your true identity? What else? You're a dancer, ain't you? And a damn good one, too. <laughs> Hardly. I'm nothing like that. Don't play dumb, yo. You don't need footwork like that just to kick bulls around in the street. No way. Ugh, why don't I attract weirdos? From the looks of you, you ain't from around here. Don't tell me you came all the way to Sonenbori without planning to take me on, yo. Well, I don't even know who you are, so... Huh? I told you, man, I'm Hide, the dancer. You got memory problems or something? No, I remember, but that's not the point. Okay, word. Yeah, I'm still a rising star, but it won't be long before I'm a household name. You can't call yourself a dancer, then breeze right by me like it's nothing, yo. Uh, sure, pal. Uh, whatever you say. Look, I have to get going. Yeah, you're not r you're running away. Forget that. I challenge you to a duel. A duel? A dance battle. If you win, you'll be known far and wide as the man who bit Hide. Uh, I think I can live without that title. But if you run, you'll be forever branded the chicken who ran away from Hide. You want to live with that, yo? I keep telling you I'm not a dancer. Huh? You saying you're cool with being a chicken? <laughs> I didn't say that, yo. I didn't say that, yo. Uh, yeah? Then that means you're taking me on. <laughs> I don't like to lose, plus I've been watching Haruka dance a lot lately, too. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? Eh, nothing. Alright, no backing down now. Let's dance. Haha, <laughs> I knew I was right about you.
Don't be a square. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually gonna dance. <laughs> well. Good. Oh boy. This is too late for this. <laughs> Go Akiyama. Akiyama actually has more moves than Haruka. <laughs> he dances pretty well. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. I missed the button press. Yosh! Yosh! <laughs> Good job, Akiyama. That was amazing, yo. You wiped the dance floor with me. <laughs> well, I managed to pull it off, but... Uh, dancing is seriously hard work. I'd have to give up smoking if I wanted to do this for a living. I've definitely gained some newfound respect for Haruka-chan. But your footwork, it's out of this world. I was right about you, yo. Alright. I. Like I promise, you can now officially call yourself the Manly Bit Hide. Eh, uh, no thanks. That's one title I won't be using. <laughs> yeah, this game is, is fun. Alright. Let it go. I wasn't expecting so many sub stories. I did want to do some progression on the main story, but there's a lot. So. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for now. Because, uh. It's late, it's like 1 in the morning, but also, I feel like if I keep doing Akiyama's voice, it's gonna, gonna hurt. <laughs> I think I went overboard with the, uh, oh yeah, right, yeah, my voice, like, no, I'm, I'm gonna make it worse, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but, if you're watching us later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed, uh, today. We'll do more of this soon. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel over there, just... Click buttons, like the like button, or if you want to watch me play other stuff, just click one of those videos and check them out. But appreciate those that do do that. Thank you so much for tuning in.